as a developer we often find ourselves in a situation where we need to fix something on the server quickly but we are not nearby our development machines so we are just helpless and we have to wait till the time we get home in order to debug the application and it creates quite a lot of trouble in our day to day lives in today's video i'm going to tell you about this new thing online ides which has been getting quite a lot of attraction from the industry and i think it is a way to go as far as developing cloud based applications is concerned so, so what is a cloud based ide basically it is an integrated development environment running on a managed cloud so you don't really have to care about the installation part of the ide how that ide is running on which operating system that ide is running all you have to care about is your software like if you have a node js application and it is deployed on a production server but you quickly want to you know change some settings in the application and want to publish it on the go you can do this sort of activities using these online ides and not only fixing things up you can create entire services using these cloud based ides these ides are that capable they actually mimic the exact functionality of your desktop based ides so they have got terminal they have got ssh they have got git they have got text editor with quite a lot of functionality as far as text editing is concerned so everything is right in there but the only difference is that that all of that is running inside a browser and not on your operating system which is also a good thing because now you are not dependent on your development machines you can decouple yourself from your development machine and you can you know move out to several locations and still access your development environment from anywhere provided that you have a computer with the internet connection and you have a browser that is moderately recent so we have been talking quite a lot about this cloud based ides so i have you know used these cloud based ides for couple of years now and i think that people should really care about this cloud based ides because like they have several advantages under their belt as we have talked about so after my experimentation with many cloud based ides i have figured out that two ides in particular stand out because first of all they are free and we as developer want to reduce our infrastructure and development cost so free is always better on top of that these ides are fully capable and certainly they have their own faults and shortcomings but still they are quite capable and like they are full fledged ides or they, they are just like atom editor with all of the embellishments but still they are running inside a browser they are free and they allow you to work from anywhere and they are pretty decent when it comes to carrying out day to day tasks using those ides so let's learn about what these two ides or the cloud based ides are so the first one on my list is code anywhere this is the cloud based ide which i think is quite good so like let's see what can we do with it so it has got ssh it has got git integration it has got digital ocean and one drive integration so you can fetch code from those locations and you know edit your code inside this ide so here i have set up a demo system this is basically ubuntu so let me show you things from the very start so we'll go to this file thing and then new connection and then we are going to create a new container so this new container is a virtualized environment where you can edit your code okay so it has got some pre made templates for you so you can read more about them like angular js so it has got a cent os 6.5 operating system and on top of that these many softwares will be installed and as soon as you are going to create 
this sort of a container you will get all of these settings and softwares pre-installed for you to use so I am going to create a node.js based container now okay so this is a node.js based container and it is running Ubuntu 14.04 and these many softwares would be installed okay so let me click this node.js system and let's name it node.js okay and then create it okay so it is asking me to upgrade it seems like that there is a limit on the number of containers you can create so I have created this UBS container a few moments ago and it is actually a blank container like this was the container I started from okay so it was a blank container from where I started okay so so we have got an Ubuntu container let's start this container and as you can see that I have cloned this react calculator application we have been building on our channel like this calculator code is sitting on our github repository so I just ran the git clone command and I got all of the code in here and if we are going to right click on this UBS thing we can actually open a new SSH terminal session and in that SSH terminal session we are going to have an access to the bash environment or the command line environment as you can see here now you can run all sorts of bash commands here okay so we have got our react calculator here and we can go inside this react calculator and we can actually run this thing so npm start and we will get our react development server running on this virtualized container now you see we have got this nice file browser then we can double click on any file and open it inside the browser window and edit it right and then we have got the SSH terminal using which we can issue whatever command we want to just like our normal local machines but everything is happening inside this one browser window and I can open this very exact same setup from anywhere using this URL I have to just log in with my credential and I can access this exact same environment from anywhere in the world isn't it quite flexible or wonderful like we are living in a world where developers have this much freedom as far as choosing their development workflow is concerned I seriously am blown away that we are living in such a world now okay so enough of the bragging about this online or cloud based IDEs let's get to the task so we have got our server running so let's see what can be done so when you create this type of a uh, container you will get to see this sort of a readme so they have provided us with 2 GB of disk space 256 MB of RAM so this is specific to code anywhere in the other IDEs these limitations or hardware vary okay so we have got sudo access 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 and you can read more about it here or when you are going to create a, a container for yourself so they have you know specified that you can access the development server if it is running on port 3000 using this URL so as we know that our default react application development web server runs on port number 3000 we can actually click this thing and access our development server in here and as you can see that since the application is running here we can access the application you know using that URL so as you can see now we can also test the application in real time and we can pass along this URL to anyone and it is actually hosted on the internet now we don't really have to use things like ngrok and all in order to you know open the tunnel from our local development system to the external world or the internet everything has been done for you and this is just a thing I really enjoy about these cloud-based IDEs so now we have learned 
about a cloud based id code anywhere let's move on to the other free cloud based ide which is even more capable than this code anywhere thing so the other cloud based ide is codenv.io now codenv.io gives you 3 gb of ram and you can create as many containers as you want to provided that you have a limit of 3 gb ram so you can create and run as many containers simultaneously as long as you are not hitting that 3 gb limit okay so you can just log into this because locking is obviously necessary they need to know who is accessing their system and here we go so you have got your dashboard here and as i have told you that they allow you uh, to you know run online ides as long as you are under that 3 gb ram limit and it is quite a capable system uh, you can work with because 3 gb ram is still something a lot of us developers do not have on their system and i obviously am not talking about the super developers or power users i'm talking about the mere mortals i'm talking about the marginalized ones so we can create work spaces just like code and we they call it containers here they call it work spaces so we can click on this create work space and create a work space for ourselves and similarly they have also got this blank and pre made stacks you can choose from and you can you know build your container using this pre made settings so again we are going to select this default blank okay so click on this and name it anything you want to here and adjust the amount of ram and create it so it is going to create a blank container which will only have ubuntu 1604 on it okay and then you have to you know set your environment up as you would like so i always start with ubuntu because i want to configure my systems my way so as you can see that now this looks like a professional ide like the ides we use on our local systems right so we have got a projects window like here we can you know browse the files and we have got commands here like we can create commands i'm going to record a separate video about uh, code env so don't you worry in this video we are just going to have a quick look at the alternate solution but in my next video we are going to talk more about in detail about how to work with this code env thing and we have got our terminal window here and we can spawn more ssh sessions just like code anywhere by clicking on this button so it is going to open one more terminal window and this is actually a ssh session to your virtual container okay so this is basically a docker container running on a server located elsewhere and we are just somehow getting access to that docker container using this code nv platform okay so you have got your normal ide like controls here okay so you can import project and you can create project so you can do all sorts of things like that and this is just the normal linux command prompt and you can even run sudo apt update and everything that works inside a ubuntu system because this is basically ubuntu and you have a sudo access over this environment okay so as you can see that our sudo command actually succeeded and i can install whatever i want to sudo apt install vim so i can do that as well okay so you can install whatever software you would like from ubuntu repository okay it has got git integration subversion integration and then again we can run our application using the same workflow we followed for code anywhere and expose our development server on the internet without using 
things like ngrok obviously you can use ngrok inside the system as well but you certainly don't really have a need here okay so let me just quickly create a new project here so if i am going to create a project so let me create a project here mk dare and any project will do right so demo and as you can see the project starts showing up here so let me create a file right click on this demo folder and new and create a new file okay so they have you know provided you with this pre-made options so let me create a javascript file okay and i can name it whatever index and you don't really have to provide the extension because since you have selected dot my i mean javascript option they already know that you are trying to create a javascript file so they will automatically append dot js after your file name and that's what they have done here so we have got this index.js and now we can write our normal javascript stuff and press ctrl s and that is it that is how you are going to edit your files inside code and we and they have got this syntax highlighting enabled by default which is quite awesome right so like this is one more id which you can use so in my personal opinion code nve is far superior as compared to other ides i have used it is even better than code anywhere now i am not trying to undermine the potential of code anywhere but personally i like this code nv ide better because first of all it looks very natural to my eyes all the controls are arranged properly in fact it does look like android studio which i am very familiar with if you look closely it does look like android studio and second of all they actually allow you to create systems or containers that can run or utilize up to 3 gb of ram so that is quite amazing and they don't even charge you for that in future they may but as of now they are not charging and simply i am using this id for like uh, last two years i have blogged about it i have you know told my other colleagues about it and i am in love with this ide in fact i prefer to work on this ide even when i am inside my home and i have access to my local development machine one thing you might have noticed that these ides are quite fast so i am on airtel broadband as of now i have not experimented with gprs connection or phone based internet but i think the ides are going to be fluid enough provided that many people have access to a fast internet these days hence we think that we are you know quite prepared to use these online ides earlier it would have been different for us but now things have changed we have access to good enough internet connections and now we can use these online ides to actually simplify our lives and deliver ourselves from local development machines so with that we have reached to the conclusion of this video in case you learned something new and you like what you learned make sure to give this video a thumbs up in case you are new here i upload these sort of videos on a weekly basis so make sure you subscribe to rain studios youtube channel which is this one and also follow me on instagram because on instagram i am publishing tidbits of computer science and other software development related stuff so this is your guy rajesh saxena signing off take care bye bye